Hi everyone, so I'm going to do a different type of video today. I've basically got this drawer, as you can see, out of my cabinet of coloured drawers that I've got. Now what I've been thinking for a while is I want to get all my vintage Cindy dolls back in vintage Cindy outfits. So I'm just going to literally pick out all the outfits I can from this drawer. And because I want you to concentrate on looking at the clothes, is why I'm videoing this in a bit of a different way so you can see the clothes. So the first outfit I've pulled out is this. So this is a blue skirt and shirt outfit. Now some vintage Cindy clothes do have the Cindy label in them. These haven't. Oh, hang on. This one might have. Hang on. Let's have a look. I don't think you can read. It has got a label in it. I think, I don't think you can actually read what is on it, unfortunately, but it looks like it did have a Cindy label in it at one time. So that's quite a nice outfit, isn't it, in blue? It's quite a nice coordinated outfit, isn't it? So let's see what else we can find. I mean, there's a mixture of stuff in here, but it's mainly, oh, that's nice. So that's... Um, vintage cindy skirt and i think somewhere i have got a top that goes with that so i might well find that so what else have we got here so here's another vintage cindy blouse i think the more sort of recent clothes like the 1980s clothes i don't think they ever had labels in them i think the sort of 1970s clothes 1960s clothes did so I'm pretty sure somewhere in there, I've got a skirt that goes with that. So what else have we got in here? So there is, it's so mixed up in here. Right, so here we have, this is also, I think this is 1980s, could possibly be late 1970s. So we've got a skirt with a matching blouse that does up at the back. Um, oh, wow. So that's nice. That's got the actual Cindy label in it. So that's quite a nice outfit, isn't it? I wonder if the skirt has got the vintage Cindy label in it as well. It doesn't look like it has. It might have had originally. So that's a nice outfit, isn't it? Matching skirt and blouse coordinated outfit i'm trying to like keep everything together so this is lovely but i'm not overly sure i don't think i ever got the skirt to this one but i really like it so that's a little blouse there but you could possibly put that with some blue trousers maybe that would make like quite a nice outfit or even if you put it with this skirt i think that could work couldn't it with that skirt Right, so I'm going to put them all together. So we've got a vintage Cindy dress here. And it hasn't got a label in it either. It's a nice dress, isn't it? So hopefully I'm going to find quite a few different outfits. So I'll tell you what I have got. This is, um, this is Patch's skirt. I'm pretty sure it's patches. Yeah, it is. Look, look at that. So that dates back. That could even be the 1960s, that one. Can you see it's got patch on it? Amazing. I've got a few patch dolls. Patch is Cindy's little sister. And I've got a few patch dolls. So that's a patch skirt. So what else have we got in here? Oh, this is nice. So this is a Cindy skirt. I think that's 1980s, that one. It's got some netting underneath in pink. It's like a real sort of swishy, wide skirt. And I don't think it's got any... That no, hasn't got any label in it. It's nice though, isn't it? If you could get a top to go with that. One of my Cindy dolls could wear that, couldn't they? So, oh, this is nice. So this is the... This is the sort of Scottish checked dress. 
That's really nice. I've got so many clothes here and I just I just thought it's such a shame not to have them. You know, I'm lucky enough to have collected all these vintage Cindy clothes and I just thought, well, it's a shame that there's no label in that one. It's a shame not to put them on with vintage Cindy dolls. I mean, obviously other stuff has got into this box, but what else have we got? Oh, some tights there. So... Oh, there's the skirt. So I picked out the blouse earlier, didn't I? And now I've got the skirt that goes with it. So that's another outfit. Again, there's no label in that. I mean, you know, you might sort of wonder how, how do you know they are the original Cindy clothes? I think when you've been collecting Cindy's for as long as I have and you've done as much research as I have, I mean, I'm sure other people have probably know more than me, but you do get to know all of the clothes. You just get to remember them, basically. Ah, oh, now that's... I thought I'd already had... No, I haven't had that out. So I think maybe that's very similar to that one, isn't it? So I don't know whether I've got the skirt for that one or not. But again, you could put that with a pair of navy trousers. That would look nice, wouldn't it? So it's just sorting it out, really. And I just thought, you know, I'll show you what I'm what I'm sort of getting out and what I'm going to put on my my um, Cindy dolls. It's a real mixture in here. I've got um, quite a few sort of horse riding type things. Like this is a sweatshirt. It's like a horse riding type top. It's really nice actually that, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know whether I'm going to be putting them in. Oh, so there's the... Oh, brilliant. So I showed you this skirt. So I do have the matching shirt to go with it. That's really nice, isn't it? Let's see whether it's got a lot of these clothes aren't creased and the reason why it's a long time ago now i um one evening <laughs> i decided to iron all my vintage cindy clothes so that's obviously why they're not creased because i took it upon myself to do that one evening so that's another outfit so I'm doing quite well. I've I've have thought a few times that I want to get the skirt to match that because I know it does come with a matching skirt and I haven't I haven't got it. So I'll have to look out on eBay to get that because I would like to have the matching matching sets. Right, I'm actually throwing a few bits on the floor because if I don't. This whole process is going to take too young, too long. Now that's a night dress, which is nice. I haven't got that on anyone, and I don't know. I will put it on anyone. I did have it on one of my dolls. I think the reason that I've got it on one of my dolls is because I've actually got two of these. I think that's the reason why one of my dolls is wearing it because I've got two of them. So this is a little top. Again hasn't got a label in it but it is a cindy top little t-shirt there so i could put that with something maybe couldn't i so this is part of the horse riding out outfit so this is quite old this might well be 1960s and as you can see it's got cindy written on it so that's part of the horse riding outfit which i don't know that i actually want to put any of them in a horse riding outfit we shall see there's some clothes in here that aren't cindy yeah look that's cindy that's another sweatshirt and that's got cindy in it let me show you that that's a kind of horse riding sweatshirt as well so i've got that as well as the red one i've got a little tutu in here cindy tutu which is nice I've got a few of my ballet dancer dolls wearing this sort of thing already. Oh, now that's nice. I love that. So that's a little Cindy t-shirt, white t-shirt, and it's got 
Cindy in a heart on it. So that's lovely. So that would go nice with something like a red pair of trousers. And I'm sure I've got red trousers in here. Yeah, I have. So Cindy did have red trousers. I mean, you can tell they're older because they've actually got a proper popper on them, a metal popper. So we've got red trousers there. So they'd look quite nice, I think, with the top, wouldn't they? So I'm going to put them together because that's another outfit. And then I've got another two pairs of Cindy red trousers here. So another old pair then there because it's got the metal popper. And I think this must be a more recent pair because it's got a plastic popper. And actually half the popper is missing. So I don't know whether I'll use those. But there's another red pair of trousers there. So... I don't think I've got anything. Oh, well, no, I think that's too much red, isn't it? But it's possible you could put those together. But Right, so. Let's see what else I can find. Oh, there's a white pair of trousers there, but they're not Cindy. They've got Velcro on them and they're more modern. They're not, they're not Cindy. I know that they're not Cindy. I've got some of the Cindy Playline clothes in here as well. So this is Cindy and it's part of a wedding dress. But there's something that goes underneath it, which I don't know that I've got. I haven't been through this drawer in a long time, as you can imagine. So these are Cindy. So these are white with a red stripe on. They've got a metal popper as well. So they, I think, would look quite nice with... I've got a red stripe there. If I can't find anything better to go with that, I think that would look quite nice, wouldn't it? So I'm going to put them together for now. And continue to delve. I've got a little Cindy nightdress here. Now, this is one of the first items of clothing that the first edition Cindy had and it's a little night dress I think it's missing a popper and despite me saying that I've um in the past ironed all these clothes this is actually a little bit creased I just think where it's been laying it hasn't actually got a label in it but I mean you know I recognize it as one of the it's a very short nighty and it's one of the first items of clothing that was produced for Cindy in the 1960s I don't know whether I'm going to put that on any of my Cindy's so we've got a shirt here with the Cindy label in I'm pretty sure this is part of the part of the air hostess outfit I'm not sure actually because I have got yeah, hostess outfit. But I don't know that she had a shirt. Yeah, I don't know that it is. I don't think she's got a. I don't think she has a shirt under her. No, I, I'm not sure about that. So it's got Cindy, genuine Cindy, made in Hong Kong, written on it. So I'm not sure what that shirt belongs to. But again, that would have been one of the early, the early items of clothing. I think the lovely thing is about collecting vintage Cindy or whatever doll that you collect that is a doll that has been around for quite a few years. The lovely thing is, is that you never stop learn. I've, I've never stopped learning about my vintage Cindy's. I still find outfits I didn't know about now. Um, it's, it's just so nice, isn't it, to, to keep learning. So that, again, is a red Cindy T-shirt. And you've got a blue S on there. And that is one of the early outfits. You can tell the early outfits. Look, they've all got the same label. They've got Cindy written in black. And this has actually got, it hasn't got Made in Hong Kong on it. It's got Empire Made written on it. So this would have been from the 1960s as well. Look at that. Yeah. 
I haven't had all these clothes out in such a long time. So this is a duffel coat. This is Cindy's duffel coat. And I've never really put it on one of my Cindy's. And again, this would be from the 1960s. It's got the same label on it, look. It's got Cindy written on it. So the really early Cindy items of clothing were all labelled. Genuine Cindy, that's made in England. So that's made in England. So that's definitely 1960s. So I would have got that in a bundle of clothes. And it's really nice, but it has got one toggle missing, which obviously I haven't been able to replace. But it has got two toggles on the cuffs so i could maybe take one off of the cuffs and put a toggle there couldn't i or i could just kind of like have it open so that it doesn't notice but yeah so that's like made of brown felt and that's a very early cindy item as well it's a duffel coat i had a duffel coat when i was young i don't think i really liked it to be honest but i did have a duffel coat I don't think they, I, I just, yeah, no, I can remember I wasn't that keen, keen on it. Right, so, oh, another pair of red trousers, Cindy red trousers, got another pair there. That's also got a metal popper, so that makes that a bit older. Quite a few pairs of red trousers, I imagine they must be quite common, the red trousers. So here is another Cindy top, and I'm not sure whether I've got, the bottoms that go with that but if I haven't that would go nice wouldn't it with the red the red trousers I haven't really filmed like this before so I apologize for not doing you know not filming very well ah so this is part of the horse riding outfit so this is again this has got a lovely label in it genuine Cindy made in Hong Kong so this is from the riding outfit it's a check shirt so she wears that with jodhpurs I'm not actually overly overly keen on I, I was never that interested in horse riding Cindy or now this is something that I remember so in the I think it was in the 90s maybe was it you could collect vouchers from i think it was from cereal and you could get a doll a cindy doll and it wasn't a pedigree cindy doll it was a much more modern cindy doll and it this was you got it for free if you saved the tokens or what have you and that's what she was wearing so i've actually got that i haven't got the, the doll though as I say, that would have come in a bumble, uh, bundle. Um, so this is a white skirt and it's got a navy trim on it, which is really nice. So I'm now wondering. Yeah, I think that's probably a 1980s one. That's more recent. Although having said that, it has got a metal, a metal popper. So maybe, yeah. So I'm thinking that that would look quite nice with that, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm going to put them together for now. I'm not going to show you everything. So here's another Cindy top. And I think this came in a pack with a pair of red trousers, actually. I think it's supposed to be with red trousers. It has got a label on it and it's simply just got Cindy in red. So that's more recent. I'd say that's probably, I don't know, late 1970s or maybe 1980s because the label is different. I mean, you can look up when all these outfits, you know, were were made and when they came out. But I can remember that comes in a fashion pack with red trousers. So I'm going to reunite that with some red trousers because that is what, well, I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to go with. So, what else have we got in here? So, I've got that, and that is, I mean, it's very creased, but this is Cindy's coat. That's got a label in it. Yeah, it needs some um, bit of an eye on that, doesn't it? 
think I've got that twice. I think I've got two of those. So now we've got another little top that is white with multicolored spots on. There's no label in it. So I think that's likely to be a 1980s Cindy blouse. So we could put that, we could also put that with red trousers, couldn't you? So that's another outfit, isn't it? Running out of red trousers now. If I did have another pair, didn't I? But they were, yeah, we can put them with those. Yeah, there we go, look. That's okay, isn't it? Right. So that's another outfit. Oh, there's the pink Mac. This was one of the things that I really wanted, the pink Mac. So you get the pink Mac and it comes with a little matching, well, it's a, a little bag that I've got. I've got in one of my houses. The trouble is with this, it's quite old. I love it. It's one of my favourite items. But because it's old and because it's Mac material, it splits so easily. Now you can see where I've tried to mend it there but it just carries on splitting, it's annoying. Yeah, and I can see that it's split at the hood, look. It's coming away at the hood, look. And it's so hard to repair because of the type of, yeah, plastic it is, which is a shame because it's one of my favorite items. Oh, now this is 1960s. So this is one of the original skirts. Yeah, this is, would, would, would have been one of the first items of clothing that was made for Cindy. There has been a label in there. But, oh, hang on. No, I can see it. Look at that. There we go. So there is Cindy written in black. Genuine Cindy made in England. Let me show you that. So that is 1960s, that is. Can you see? Yeah. So I could put that on one of my girls, couldn't I? So I think... This, like I said, was the horse riding outfit. I think that would actually look really nice under that, wouldn't it? And I'm wondering whether that was actually meant to go with that. Maybe it isn't a horse riding outfit. Right. What else have we got? Ah, oh, there's another little top there. Another little T-shirt, which is nice. Quite badly damaged that one actually. Can you see? I might not use that one. There's no label in it. But yeah, you can see it's quite badly damaged. I think that maybe is yeah, I don't I don't know if that's salvageable actually. So this is another item that is quite iconic with Cindy. It is a cape again. I obviously didn't iron this because it's very Priest. So this is the cape that they copied when they did the Cindy Collectors Club dolls. They copied this exactly. And it's the, uh, the, the doll that's wearing this is the only one that I haven't got. I've got five of them and this is the one I'm missing. But this is the original cape, but they, they copied this. I am still trying to get one. I missed out on one the other day that I probably would have paid the price that it went for. But I didn't bid on it and I it, it went, I mean, you, you can't always look, can you, to see when, you know, you can't always be around when they're going to end. But I should have put a maximum bid on it because it actually went for a price that I was willing to pay, less than I was willing to pay, actually. So I should have put a bid on it, shouldn't I? But never mind, I will get one in the end. So there's some white trousers here with a kind of a green stripe going down them. Can you see that? So that would look okay maybe with something, wouldn't it? That would look okay with that top. Yeah. So many outfits. I'm pretty sure they are, oh, you see they're different, aren't they? So this is the horse riding one. And this bright red one, I think, is what goes under that. I think that actually came with that. I might have to have a look and see 
whether that was the case. Just find out whether it was the case. So this is a Cindy, another Cindy night dress. It's blue. It's sort of fleecy. It's really nice, actually. I can't see a label in it. But yeah, that would be nice for one of the girls in the in the bedrooms to wear, wouldn't it? Nice sort of night time. Got another pair of white trousers with a red stripe. Yeah, I've got I've already got a pair of them, but there's another pair of them. Metal popper in that one as well. It's got quite a new metal popper in it. I think that might be one that I've replaced. You know, you do have to replace the poppers sometimes. So, what else have we got in here? Just sort of chucking a few bits out as I go. So this is part of a tracksuit. So this would be more recent. I think that would be like 1990s. Hasn't got a label in it. I'm not 100% sure that's for Cindy, actually. But I haven't really got something to go with it, unfortunately. So, ah, oh, so this is a jacket that goes with this skirt. Yeah, so this, we've got this blue skirt that I showed you. It was the first thing I showed you, wasn't it? And this jacket goes with it. It's got a tie tie belt so if we put that with a skirt I can show you and then you just tie it tie it up like so so I think that is what goes with that skirt but this also matches the skirt it is slightly different material to that so I'm thinking that this matches it but I could put that on underneath the jacket as as well so I'll put those three together. Now this skirt is interesting because I feel like this is Marie's skirt because I've seen Cindy's friend Marie. I'm sure I've seen her wearing this. There's no label in it. I love Marie, Cindy's friend Marie. I've got about three of them, I think. Really love her. She's got red hair. So I think that is Marie's skirt, but I haven't got the top that goes with it, unfortunately. There's another horse riding outfit, look. There's a little jacket, horse riding jacket. So that's got its label in it. Yeah, genuine Cindy made in Hong Kong. As I say, I'm not that bothered about the horse riding scenario, really. You can get Cindy. Oh, there's another one of those. Yeah, I've got another tutu there. A couple of spare tutus, look. I obviously don't need them because my ballet dancers have got their tutus on, but I've got another couple there, which is nice. It's always nice to have spares. I think some Amanda Jane doll clothes have ended up in here somehow. I'm not quite sure how, but they have. Ah, oh, so that's interesting. So there's a pair of shorts there. And that does go. Oh, yeah, I've got the top as well. Hang on, that's got a label in. Excited when I see a label. So that's a more recent Cindy label in red. So yes, that actually comes. So that's an outfit. It's like a beach outfit. You've got shorts, you've got the top, and then you've got a sarong that goes round the waist. You just tie it to one side so I might put that on one of my Cindy's can you see you tie it like that you've got the shorts underneath as well so yeah that's a Cindy outfit that all goes together so that's quite a sort of summery beach outfit isn't it so I think I think that might be as much as I've got in there I mean, there's other stuff in there, but nothing that sort of matches, if you get what I mean. Oh, I found the horse riding hat there. I mean, this is vintage Cindy, and that's quite old. So that's made in a felt material. 
surprisingly that hasn't got a label in it i would have thought it would have but that's um that's from the 1960s i'm not quite sure what i'd put that with yeah it's a felt material it's got metal poppers in good condition actually because the white hasn't come off the poppers but i'm not quite sure what i'd put that with to be honest i suppose i could put it with a pair of white trousers couldn't i it'd look quite nice over that shirt wouldn't it as well so oh now that's that's a cindy i don't know whether i've got the other part of that so this is a cindy little it's like a little sort of nightwear type skirt and as you can see it's got cindy written in red there and it comes with a top I think it comes with a sort of bralette top that I don't think I've got. When you buy bundles of clothes, you do end up with lots of sort of part, part sets, don't you? Ah, oh, some shorts there, they're cute. Oh, I think they are Cindy shorts. They're stripy. Actually got a metal popper on quite sure what I'd put those with so this is another outfit now this is one of the outfits that I've got that for a long time I didn't think it was Cindy but it is you know it is Cindy I've looked it up and it is a Cindy outfit so it's made of felt and you've got a skirt check skirt hasn't got any labels in it and the matching item that's with it is this shirt it's quite a sort of long shirt so it's worn like that and it is actually a cindy outfit because i know that i found it and i looked it up i'm not like overly keen on it but it you know it's good to know that it is actually a cindy outfit there's some red tights in here i don't know whether i've got any use for them but there's some red tights there oh that's interesting so I've got a Cindy swimming costume here and I think that is, I don't think that's a really old swimming costume. It's got Cindy written on it. It's nice, isn't it? It's cute. I'm thinking maybe that might be the 1990s. Right, so there's a leotard that would have gone with the tutu. So that's the sparkly version of the leotard. I do really like the, I'm not that interested in the horse riding Cindy, but I do really like the ballet Cindy's. Yeah, I really like those. Oh, there's a navy skirt there. Cindy's navy skirt. So that hasn't got a label in it, but I think I've probably got something that would go with that because that's navy. That would go with that, wouldn't it? Nicely. I would like to get the matching. I know that die comes with the matching skirt and I'd like to get the matching skirt for it, but it would go with that. But it would also go with this one as well, wouldn't it? I think when I'm changing my Cindy's, I'm, I'm going to end up steering towards the actual proper matching sets I've, I've got. I know that's probably what I'm going to end up doing because I know what I'm like. And there's a few Amanda Jane doll clothes in here. Oh, there's another skirt here. So this is the skirt for, from the... I've got the Air Hostess outfit the original vintage outfit on one of my cindy's and this is a spare skirt that's a spare skirt so i've got a spare skirt there so yeah i've got the whole outfit i've even got the um the bag that goes with it to be honest sometimes i forget what i have got so i think that's pretty much it with what i found in this drawer i kind of know that i've got a lot of other stuff somewheres as well Found some Amanda Jane clothes in here. Found a little Amanda Jane doll dress that I didn't know I had. Just sort of throw that in there. Look, that's nice, isn't it? Not many people collect Amanda Jane dolls, do they? 
Oh, that, I think, maybe, this white insert, dress insert, maybe, is meant to go under this wedding dress. In fact, I think it is. To make it into, obviously, it won't be see-through when it's got that underneath. So, I think that's maybe where that's supposed to go. So... There's more stuff in there, but I don't think there's anything else that I'm going to show you. I mean, this is nice, and I would like, this comes with a t-shirt. I would like to get the t-shirt that goes with this. So this is definitely the 1990s. So it's the little skirt there with Cindy written on it. And yeah, a, a, a top goes with that that I haven't got. But the trouble is the elastic's gone, so it's not actually going to stay on. I'm going to have to do something with that to make it smaller. Or put new elastic in it which i probably wouldn't do i'd probably try and make it a bit smaller but yeah i would like to get i think it's called the free freewheeling outfit but it's definitely 1990s and there's that and then a top goes with it but i've only got the skirt as i say when you buy bundles of vintage cindy doll clothes and you get them quite cheap you, you have to sort of realize you are going to get odds and ends you're not all going to get like perfect stuff you know, you, you do get, um, oh, that, oh, I know why that, I think I know what that goes with. So that, it's like, a, it looks like a leotard, but it's basically a body. And I'm always 100% sure that that goes with this, this skirt. Yeah. You can see what that looks like, can't you? It looks nice, doesn't it? So that, I think that body does actually go with that skirt. So I'll probably put that on a, on a Cindy doll as well. And I think that is probably it. Now, I know I've shown you before. What's that one then? So I've just found that one. I don't know that that is Cindy. I'm not sure. It's just like a little nightwear sort of skirt. I'm not sure that that is Cindy. I might have to try and find out whether that is. Sometimes I think, oh, I need to know. And other times, I mean, I've got that and I think this is Cindy and something goes underneath it. I can't remember what goes underneath it. I mean, that white, I wonder if that goes underneath it. I put that under that wedding dress. I'm wondering whether it goes underneath this. I need to do a bit of research, don't I? I'm trying to buy less dolls, especially Rainbow High dolls, because I just think I've got too many, really. And as much as I love them, I just feel I have got too many. So I've decided to try and enjoy the dolls I've got already. So I'm trying to sort of get into my vintage. Well, I've, I've never stopped being, you know, interested in my vintage Cindy collection, but... I'm trying to enjoy the dolls I've got. So try and get in all my Vintage Cindy dolls, as I said, in the Vintage Cindy outfits. And yeah, I'm trying to buy less dolls, basically. I mean, looking around, I've got some beautiful Vintage Cindy dolls. I mean, all the really lovely outfits are already being used. You know, I've got Space Fantasy Cindy in her original outfit. I've got three of the lounger dresses that are beautiful. And my all-time favourite outfit is the pinny party outfit or party pinny outfit. I always get confused which way to say that. I've got, I think I've got three of those. So all the, the vintage Cindy clothes that I like are pretty much being worn already. But I've got quite a lot here, quite a lot of outfits that I can put on other Cindy dolls because I kind of want to get them all vintage. That's what I've decided that I want to do, get them all in vintage clothes. I think that'd be really nice. So, yeah, I was going to show you these, wasn't I? So, oh, that's, you see, that's another, that's another vintage Cindy outfit. Look, that's 1990s, I think. That's just with the shoes there. So that's a skirt. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. It's even got a label in it. Oh, that's it's strange, isn't it? Some they put labels on, some they don't. So I've got the skirt and the matching top. The label's only in the skirt. But that's got plastic poppers. 
me show you that. It's very 90s fashion, isn't it? But yeah, so that's another outfit. You see, things find up, things find their way into other drawers, don't they? But I know I've shown you this before, that this is my bag full of Cindy shoes and boots. Yeah, there's so many different Cindy shoes. Let me show you some of them. There's so many. So one of the popular ones is these mules. Let's get a cleaner one out. I've got a bit dusty, I think. So there's these mules. So you, they're blue. So they have got on the bottom of them Cindy. I don't know whether you're going to pick that up, but they have got on the bottom of them Cindy. So they come in blue and they come in red. They're not particularly good at staying on Cindy's feet. I mean, I might need to get some of these out anyway. So if I'm going to be dressing them in their Cindy outfits, I'll probably want to put the Cindy shoes on them, won't I? I can't find the other one that goes with that. It's going to be in there somewhere. But yeah, so there's the mules and they come in blue, red and yellow, I think. I don't know whether I've got a yellow one, but I'm pretty sure they do come in yellow. So then the other type of shoe they do are the trainers. Now, these trainers might not be the most attractive, but they do sh sh stay on Cindy's feet. They're really good. So I've got a yellow pair. Yellow is the most common. They come in pink, and one of my Cindy dolls has already got the pink ones on. The pink ones are rarer to find. And they come in white trainers as well which I think one of my Cindy dolls is already wearing. I can't see any white trainers in here, but yellow ones you seem to be able to find. There's the white mules, look. So those mules also come in white as well as the, let me show you, as well as the blue and the, it's like a shoe shop here, isn't it? So yeah, there's trainers, there's the mules, then there's these different sort of mules, which have got a closed in toe. So they come in red, Again, they've got Cindy written on the bottom. They come in red. They come in an off-white colour as well as a proper white colour. So there's, they come in white, but they also come in that cream colour. And they also come in, I think they also come in blue. I can't find a blue pair. I think they do come in blue and I think they come in yellow as well. But again, I can't find a yellow pair, probably because someone's one of my Cindy's is already wearing them. So the other type of shoe that, I mean, these fall off their feet dreadfully, is a proper shoe. Yeah, it's got a heel and a back and a tiny little heel at the back there. They're probably the shoes I least like because they just they just fall off their feet so they come in yellow and what other color do they come in red it's the same shoe in red they've also got cindy written on the bottom so they come in red and yellow and i wonder if they come in white i don't think i've got a white pair but i think they might do so yeah, there's those. There's also the boots. So there's white boots that are notoriously hard to get on and off. I have got another one of them, but there's only one in there. But yeah, they come in white and they also come in brown. I think a Cindy of mine must be wearing the brown ones, but they're boots. And they haven't got Cindy written on the bottom. So the other shoe they do is a closed in shoe with a heel. There you go. But that's different to this shoe, as you can see, because that's got sort of like a tassel effect on the front, whereas this is plain. So they come in white. Again, they don't stay particularly well on the feet, to be honest. They come in white. And I think they come in other colours, but 
I don't know. That I think I've only got the white ones. I'm sure they do come in other colours. Yeah, I think I've only got the white ones in those. So the other shoe that they did was this one. Now, I really like these and they do stay on their feet better. So they're flat. So that's like a pale pink. And they did also come in other colours. So they also came in bright red. And they've both got Cindy written on the bottom as well. Just trying to see if I've got any of them in any other colours. I don't think I have. But I'm sure they probably do come in another colour. So then there's these shoes. And I don't even know that I've got a pair of these. The, the rarer, nicer Cindy shoes I've got are, you know, they're, they're already out and they're on my Cindy's. But yeah, so there's those shoes. I've got a bit of a heel and they're different at the front, as you can see. And as far as I'm aware, I've only seen those in white. I've only got a white pair anyway. So the other thing that they did is they did slippers <laughs> and again I know some of the Cindy's in my Cindy bedrooms have got these slippers on but I'll show you the ones I've got in my bag. So there's these ones and they're, they're basically the same as that shoe but they stuck fluff on the front. So there's a blue slipper. And they've got Cindy written on the bottom. Then they do another type of slipper that is basically that one with some material put on the front. So, yeah, they do two types of slippers. And they've obviously made them from the original shoes, but just put the sort of fluffy, fluffy aspects on them. Oh, so that one comes in blue. I don't know if I've done that one. No, that's a new one. Yeah, so they're really nice. So that's a little flat pump. That's got Cindy on the bottom and it's in pale blue and it's got a little tie at the front. I haven't showed you those, have I? The other one will be in the bag somewhere. So the other shoes that they do that I really like. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So these Cindy shoes, which is that one. I said I thought only come in white. I have got brown as well. Yeah. And strangely enough, neither of them have got Cindy in the bo on the bottom. But yeah, so they're white and brown. So I think my least favourite Cindy shoes, these are light pink and they've got Cindy on the bottom, is these mules because they do not stay on their feet whatsoever. Can you see them? They've got this stupid little bit of the back that does nothing. And then you've got a quite a narrow strap over the front. I mean, they do not stay on any Cindy's feet ever. But I mean, I've got, a, obviously I've got a few pairs of them. So, Cindy's bathroom sponge in here, look. <laughs> so the other shoes they do for Cindy is the ballet shoes so I've got a white one there again these are on my ballerinas so that's probably why I haven't got that many so there's a pink pair and as you can see the straps are missing and the pink pair I've got with the straps intact are on my ballerina Cindy's now and they don't have Cindy written on the bottom but I mean they're so recognizable as the Cindy ballet shoe I mean you know, they couldn't possibly be anything else. So that goes with that one. So the other Cindy shoes they do are the court shoes. Now, I love these. Hence why I've only got one. Because all the pairs I've got are on my other Cindy dolls. But yeah, these are lovely. They haven't got Cindy on the bottom. I feel like they're maybe a bit later Cindy shoes, but... They're lovely, aren't they? I love those. They're my favourite Cindy shoes. They do stay on a lot better than some of the other shoes. 
So I've got a few pairs of pink ones of these and they're all being worn by my dolls. And they also come in a lovely turquoisey green colour that is quite hard to find. And one of my dolls is wearing, wearing those as well. So they're my favourites. I love them. Absolutely love them. Yeah. Hence why my Cindy's are wearing them. So I think I've pretty much covered all of the Cindy shoes apart from so there's this one and i think that is one of paul's shoes lace-up shoes and it's an odd one i have got a pair but paul is wearing them but yeah and that has nothing written on the bottom i don't know if it looks big enough to be one of paul's shoes but i think it is i don't think it is cindy's i'm pretty sure it's paul's so I think that is it for the shoes. So, I mean, as I say, these yellow trainers are commonplace. You can get these so easily. I mean, have a look in my bag. I've got loads of yellow trainers in there. But I, I have got them in pink that are rarer to get. But as I say, one of my Cindy's is wearing them. So, yeah, there's my shoes. And some of my Cindy clothes. So I feel like I can redress some of my vintage Cindy's comfortably with the outfits I found and the shoes that I found. Yeah, I think that's been quite a good job to do. I've got a lot more sorting out to do. There's loads of Amanda Jane doll clothes in that drawer. Goodness knows why. Um, I'm just trying to think, is there a favourite outfit I found today? I think it would probably be this one. I love that. The skirt is so nice, isn't it? And you've got the pink netting under it. So I need to put some, probably some blue shoes with that. And I would probably maybe go for these. I mean, as I say, none of the vintage Cindy shoes stay on particularly well, to be honest. It's quite frustrating that they fall off all the time. But yeah, so I think that's probably going to be the first outfit I put on a girl. Because I really like it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.